Hey, have you noticed? Things are moving in the health sector. The latest report published by the World Health Organization on global health financing confirms a number of trends that will shape the future of health systems on the road to universal health coverage. WHO's latest analysis confirms the swift growth of health expenditure, which is increasing at a faster pace than the rest of the economy. This is particularly true in low- and middle-income countries where health spending is growing at over 6% annually compared with 4% in high-income countries on average. Behind this trend, there's a new norm. Government health expenditure is central and is increasing with economic growth as well as general government spending. In middle-income countries, government health expenditure per capita has doubled since the year 2000. On average, governments now spend on health $60 per capita in lower middle-income countries and close to $250 per capita in upper middle-income countries. That's a positive development, but there's still room for improvement to make healthcare more equitable and accessible for all. Insights from WHO underscore that health systems that rely more on public spending offer people better financial protection. More government spending is often associated with better coverage of essential services, but it doesn't always reduce inequities in access. The efficiency and allocation of public spending matters. Another important finding in this context, external funding is declining. Indeed. WHO's report underlines that middle-income countries are transitioning to fund health domestically. On the road to universal health coverage, is the picture complete? Not quite. The WHO report attempts, for the first time, to bring together expenditure data on primary health care. As the alma Ata Declaration celebrates its 40 years of existence, it's important to revisit the foundations of effective health systems. Primary health care is the key to getting closer to universal health coverage. In low- and middle-income countries, new data suggests that more than half of health spending is devoted to primary health care, although governments fund less than 40% of this spending. Something else you should know the new report has insights into how aid is spent in low- and middle-income countries. Currently, almost 50% of external funds are devoted to three diseases, HIV-AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. Another 10% is spent on reproductive health and a further 10% on non-communicable diseases. The latest data shows that most low-income countries still rely on external funding for immunization and for responding to pandemics. So, governments are investing more and there's a transformation underway. Efforts are still required, though, if you're going to make progress along the path to universal health coverage and achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. The new WHO report on global health expenditure describes advances made around the world and points to ways that policymakers, health professionals and citizens alike can continue to strengthen health systems. Health is a priority for all and an investment in our future.